this question a lot. People want to do clusters. Sometimes they say a, a Beowulf cluster. What is it? How do you use it? Our next guests are experts in clusters. They build them and they manage them respectively, and they're both part of the free BSD project. First Chief Technology Officer at Off My Server, Matt Olander. We've had you on the show. Welcome back, Matt. Thank and you. And Government Systems Engineer, Brooke Davis. It's great. Brooks, it's great to have you here. Now, Brooks is, uh, you told me, Matt, one of the foremost experts in clustering on yeah, FreeBSD. Absolutely. Maybe the guy he in clustering. the guy for FreeBSD yeah. clustering. And you build these for clients. We sure do. Uh, like Sandia, Los Alamos, you know, a lot of big government agencies. Brooks said I shouldn't use the term Beowulf. Well, you can use the term Beowulf. It's certainly a popular way to describe it. Yeah. But, uh, I think that's how people know it's, it. It's very vague. It's not really, there's no such thing, essentially, right? Or there it is. It describes very little. It's very, a, all right. Very, uh, so what is a cluster then, Matt? What is, what is a, I won't use the word Beowulf. What is yeah, a cluster? Yeah, sure. A cluster is just a group of computers, uh, yeah. you know, running parallel processing so they can all be used together. All the CPUs can be used together. Now there's... It's, it's just basically a massively parallel yeah, a computer. a supercomputer, like yeah. those old craze, right? Right. Now there's more than one type of, of cluster. There's high availability and, you know, other types of clusters, but right. we're talking about getting them all working together and, and throwing all that processing power on one task or, or job. Typically like, engineering tasks, uh, movie rendering, right, graphics, graphics, rendering. that kind of thing. Yeah. How is that different from a render farm? Is it basically the same thing? A render farm would be a type of cluster. It's just exactly. a kind of cluster. Yeah. So this is a simple cluster you built here. Tell us a little bit about this, Matt. What's in this cluster? This is all off-the-shelf components. Uh, Pentium 4 1.8, uh, 256 There's four megs. of those. Yeah, there's four of those. To, uh, they're in an 8-inch custom, you know, one-u chassis, but these are very inexpensive. And How you much for the, each of these units, Like maybe? $700. Okay, it's inexpensive. Yeah, very cheap. But by multiplying together times four, we get a much faster computer. Absolutely. This is a big network box. They're connected via net, by Just network a regular 10100 switch. So there's nothing special. Nothing special. You can do this at home. I tell my friends, don't throw away those old computers. Put them together and, you know, uh, run SETI on them. Now, uh, we said that there's a kind of cl three cluster nodes and then there's a master node. Is that how it's kind of configured here? Yeah, or? there's a master node. It's also acting as a computing node, so, so it's very so much like the other cluster All nodes. four of them are working, but one of them kind of runs the show. The front end, yeah. It says, okay, you do this, you do this, that kind of thing? or uh, Some of that. It uh, also provides the home directories on all the machines, so they're shared. So it's the file server file as well. Server. You have to have a central place that they put the data, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Right. Do they each have their own home directory, or is it all one home directory? It's all uh, shared from the one it's machine. It's uh, possible to run it the other way, but it's much easier if your home directory is shared. The a applications single home often directory. assume that right. you're going to share some home. How about page things. files? Are they? Uh, uh, does each box have its own swap file? Yeah. It's and it's, so it's own operating system, its own yep. swap file, its own RAM, its own CPU. It's as if it's, it is a completely Separate standalone computer. computer. Yeah. 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 What is the software that ties it together to make them act as one? Um, the software for the app, particular application we're running today is a uh, software called the Message Passing Interface, uh, MPI. MPI, okay. Um, we're running the WAM implementation of that. And then we're monitoring with a system called the Ganglia Cluster Toolkit. Okay. Why would I use this instead of a four-way system, a four-way multiprocessor system? Well, typically, uh, uh, if you were saying a two-way system, probably go with the two-way. But the four-way, four-way systems tend to cost more than four processors with oh, by themselves. So it really says a cost effect. Yeah. The more, more importantly, though, is if you're building a hundred-way, there are, there's, there's only no way to do it. way out there. Right. You could buy yeah. a Sun Enterprise. I got uh, it. 15K. But how, how many processors could I put on this thing? Um, there are systems out there with over 3,000 at the government. 3,000. Whoa, that's amazing. Now, you're running some software here. This is on a web browser, though. This is not part of the cluster. This is just an interface to the cluster's software. This is running on that node that's, that we consider the, like, you know, the front end. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's displaying uh, load on the machines, how much memory we're using, um, network bandwidth usage. Okay. Um, and it also has some charts for uh, different graphs for, for each machine in, in addition to the cluster as a whole. Right. And the color tells you how loaded they are and gives you some monitoring information. Now, we're running something on here, right? What are you doing? What work are you doing? We're running the uh, High Performance Linpack benchmark. So it's, it's a benchmark? It's a benchmark. Um, it's the benchmark used for the top 500 clusters list. It's not the greatest benchmark in the world, but it's a benchmark. And is it doing math? Really, what is it doing? It's uh, doing linear algebra on a uh, <laughs> 10,000 by 10,000 matrix. My brain would be smoking. Wow. Using, uh, That's a big matrix. Most of the gigabyte of RAM on the cluster. Is it doing it right now? Yeah, it's running right now. Um, we just finished a run. Uh, uh, just under three gigaflops. So, and, and that's about what you're getting. That's the speed. That's three billion three. floating point operations per second. Yeah. Is, where is that on the scale of computers? I mean, what, what is my Pentium 4 doing? One gigaflop, maybe? I don't even know if it would. So one, it might be about, one. About one. As, at most one. At most. Uh, okay. So a high-end titanium might, might do more than one. But, okay. Uh, 
Um, and then, but nor is this a Cray or a supercomputer. Yeah, it only no. have four nodes on here. Right. But you can add to this, you know, as as your grandma gives it gives you, you know, you, her you, computer. So I, oh, they don't have dad. to be all the same. No, they absolutely don't. I they could can, put a 386 no, or a 486. Yeah, and so, and then just kind of accreting power and as just, you go yeah, along. And then you grow the cluster. Interesting. And uh, and the total cost of this four unit was about under three grand. Would you say? Oh yeah, yeah. easily. What do these things do? Those are the computational antenna. <laughs> <laughs> They're the horns. That's the free BSD horns. You, you don't put them on every unit. No, no I like that, Matt, though. If I were your client, I would order You'd them. want those, right? So uh, uh, I would guess Pixar uses something like this. I would guess Lucasfilm. Well, the, the movie The Matrix was rendered on a free BSD cluster farm by Mannix locally here. Just like this. Just like this. With a lot more. Yeah, because you don't want to. You you got to get the movie out yeah, every no, few years. Exactly. You, can't, yeah, exactly. you can't wait a decade. <laughs> and the government might use this for weather prediction. That weather kind of prediction, thing. Uh, simulating nuclear tests. Anything uh, really complex. Um, yeah. yeah. System design, all cool. sorts of things. Well, we can't tell you what Brooks does. It's highly confidential, but we're glad he's here doing it on the screensavers. Thank you, Brooks. Thanks. Matt, it's great to see you again. Thanks we for finally it. got a cluster on. If you want to know more about this, you can take a look at the software used. We have links to the software used, an article about how to do it, and the management console as well. Go to the screensavers.com. All the specs, too, for this inexpensive system giving you some pretty good power.